Hi, welcome to Tech Bike Parts. Today we're going to be showing you how to install our large luggage rack for the uh, Royal Enfield 650 Twin models. We've made this luggage rack because Royal Enfield don't have a luggage rack system in their accessory range. Now there has been a few uh, on the market that we've seen, but the, the problem is they only utilise the mountings for the grab rail. The problem with this is there's no triangulation of the frame at the back here. So we've made a rack that has six mounting points on it and it also helps triangulate the back from increased strength and we'll show you more of that later. So anyway, I'll show you what you need to do to remove the parts to put it on the bike. It's a fairly straightforward operation, but we'll start that now. First of all, you need to remove the seat. You, obviously, you need to remove the, the right side panel and pull the knob. Take the seat off. And you need to remove the two shock absorber top bolts and the four bolts that hold the, the grab rail on. These are 12mm spanner size and you need an Allen key for those. So I'll go and do that now. Okay, so that's the uh, grab rail off and the shock absorber mountain bolts off. Now if you've got an um, interceptor model with a centre stand on, this is fairly straightforward. But if you've got a GT Continental model, you may need somebody to support the bike or the piece of wood or a jack or a stand underneath because we need to remove this shock absorber. Now you can normally just slide this off. And then pivot it forward just slightly. So with the shock absorber off, you need to introduce the stand at this sort of angle. Careful not to damage your paintwork. Bring it round and upwards. So with the stand fully pulled back, you can then refit the shock absorber. You may need to press down on the back of the bike, but that's it. You can now fit the two new longer bolts that we supply with washers for the the top of the shock absorber mountings. Put them in loosely at this stage, either side. So it allows you to get the rack lined up. Now you install the four bolts that you removed from the grab rail back into the mounting holes and the rear frame rail. I'm just fitting this rack temporarily, but normally I would suggest using Loctite on all these bolts, blue Loctite. And we will show you the tightening torques at the end of the sequence on the screen. So you go around just tightening them all up evenly before you give them all a final torque up when you're finished. So that's the rack all fitted and tightened and torqued there. So you can just refit your seat now and your side panel and that's all ready to go. Now as you can see, the, bike, the, the, the rack has now got six mounting points under the bike. And it also has a small amount of triangulation on the back end here for increased strength. Now I'll give you how, a good idea how strong the, the rack is. This will test my back as well. You can lift the whole bike up with the rack without any deformation at all. Also a handy grab rail on the back as well for your passenger. Thanks for watching Tech Bike Parts. We have lots more new parts coming out for this model and all the new Triumph models. See you soon. Thanks a lot now. Bye bye.